So I have this rectangular prism here. It's kind of the shape of a brick or a fish tank. And it's made up of these unit cubes. And each of these unit cubes, we're saying, is one fourth of a foot by one fourth of a foot by one fourth of a foot. So you could almost imagine that this is, so let me write it this way. This is a fourth of a foot by one fourth of a foot by one fourth of a foot. Those are its that those are its length, height, and width or depth, whatever you want to call it. So given that, what is the volume of this entire rectangular prism going to be? So I'm assuming you've given a go at it. So there's a couple of ways to think about it. You could first think about the volume of each unit cube and then think about how many unit cubes there are. So let's do that. The unit cube, its volume is going to be one fourth of a one fourth of a foot times one fourth of a foot times one fourth of a foot. Or another way to think about it is it's going to be one fourth times one fourth times one fourth cubic feet, which is often written as feet to the third power, cubic feet. So one fourth times one fourth is one sixteenth times one fourth is one sixty fourth. So this is going to be one over sixty four cubic feet, cubic feet, or one sixty fourth of a cubic foot. That's the volume of each of these. That's the volume of each of these unit cubes. Now, how many of them? How many of them are there? Well, you could view them as kind of these two layers. The first layer has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's this first layer right over here. That's this first layer right over here. And then we have the second layer down here, which would be another eight. So it's going to be eight plus eight or sixteen. So the total volume here, the total volume is going to be sixteen times times one sixty fourth of a cubic foot, which is going to be equal to sixteen over sixty four. Sixteen over sixty four cubic feet. Cubic feet, which is the same thing. Sixteen sixty fourths is the same thing as one fourth. Divide the numerator and the denominator by sixteen. This is the same thing as one fourth of a cubic foot. Of a cubic foot, and that's our volume. Now there's other ways that you could have done this. You could have just thought about the dimensions of the length, the width, and the height. The width right over here is going to be two times one fourth feet which is equal to one half of a foot. The height here is the same thing. It's two times, so it's going to be two times one fourth of a foot, which is equal to two fourths or one half of a foot. And then the length, the length here is four times one fourth of a foot. Four times one fourth of a foot, well that's equal to four fourths of a foot, which is equal to one foot. So to figure out its vo the volume, we could we could multiply we could multiply the length times the width, the length times the width times the height, times the height. And I'm mean, these little dots here. These aren't decimals. I've written them a little higher. These are another way. It's a shorthand for multiplication instead of writing a this kind of X looking thing, this cross looking thing. So the length is one. The width is half of a foot. So times one half, and then the height is another half, is another half. Let me do it this way. The height is another half. So what's one times one half times one half? Well, that's going to be equal to one fourth. And this is a foot. This is a foot. This is a foot. So foot times foot times foot. That's going to be foot feet to the third power or cubic feet. One fourth of a cubic foot. Either way, we got the same result, which is good.